Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! Okay, now let's talk about ratio. So ratio is a comparison on two quantities. The ratio of A to B is denoted as A is to B, or pwede natin siyang insulat in fraction form A over B. But take note guys, fraction form to ha, pero yung essence ng fraction, ano bang technical definition ng fraction? When we say fraction, part of a whole. So in this case, technically hindi to part of a whole la, um, may kinocompare ka lang na dalawang quantities in fraction form. Okay, so technically this is a ratio kapag magkaiba yung units nilang dalawa. Okay, so for example, in a class of 50 students, there are 40 girls and 10 boys. The ratio of girls to boys is 40 over 10 or 4 is to 1 or 4 over 1. So iba-iba lang tong Notation. Okay, nakuha naman to familiar naman ata lahat. Meron bang medyo hindi familiar pagdating sa ratio? Meron ba? Wala naman. Okay. Dahil wala may nag-chat, i-assume kong wala. Okay. Ano yung rate? Rate is just a ratio of two measurements na magkaiba yung units. Okay? Typically, nasa baba niya yung time. Okay, for example, we have our speed. Speed is equal to distance over time. Okay? So, speed is actually a ratio. Ratio siya ng distance covered over time elapsed. Okay? Para makover yung distance na yun. Okay? Another way of saying it is distance is to time. Ito yung mga examples lang ng units. I think familiar naman kayo. Okay? So, you have kilometer is to hour o kaya feet per second or kilometer per hour. Yung mga, mga iba't ibang ano natin, units for rate. Now we have proportion. Okay, when we talk about proportion, meron tayong equivalence or meron tayong equal ratios. Ratios. Okay, so when we say proportional, we have two pairs or num of numbers or two ratios na magkapareho. So A is to B is just equal to C is to D. Okay? Huwag niyo palang pansin itong nasa side kasi hindi yan nag apply kapag inversely. Okay, ito lang, pasirin nyo lang yun nasa left side. A is to B is equal to C is to D. So, sa ating ratio, mayroon tayo tinatawag na means. Okay, actually nakalimutan ko na rito, but means, ito yung nasa loob lang. So, pwede naman itong magbaliktad. Pwede yung AB yung means mo, and then yung BC yung extremes mo. Depende ko paano siya pinresent. Okay, in this case, since BC yung nasa gitna, Yun yung ang tawag doon ay means, okay? Yung dalawa namang nasa dulo would be your extremes. Bakit kita dinefine? Kasi sa definition natin mamaya ng indirect and in, direct proportion, ito yung ginagamit. Pero may, isa, may another way pa to define those two things. Ipapakita ko rin. Okay, so take note of this lang. Baka lang rin lumabas. When you say direct proportion, product of the means is equal to the product of extremes. So if you have a is to B is equal to C is to D. Ang means mo dito is B and C. Ang extremes mo dito is A and D. So if you multiply B and C, equal dapat siya sa A times D. Okay? So actually, ayoko nung ganitong definition niya. Pero pinapakita ko na rin kasi in case na yung iba, hindi may itindihan yung next na way of defining yung direct proportion. Okay. Another way to look at it is a varies directly with B and C varies directly with D. Tapos, yung proportionality constant nilang dalawa is the same or equal, parehong K. Okay? Hindi siya magkaiba. Hindi natin siya i-define as K1 and K2 kasi pareho sila ng constant para maging direct proportion. Okay? Para maging proportional sila. Okay. So, since A varies directly with B, remember kanina, A should be equal to KB. Nakafollow dito, naalala to from earlier. Anyone? Naalala to? Okay. A is equal to KB. So, gawin natin, i-isolate natin yung K. If you isolate K, divide both sides by B, itong makukuha natin, right? K is equal to AB. Let's check naman C 
varies directly with D. So since C varies directly with D, we have this. C is equal to KD. So gawin natin, kunin natin ang K. K is equal to C over D. Since sabi natin para maging proportional siya, equal lang silang dalawa. So K is equal to K. It follows na A over B is equal to C over D. Nakuha kung saan ito nang galing? Yes po. Yes po. So kaya kanina, ang sabi, if you multiply AD and CB, dapat equal lang sila. Okay? So pwedeng itong nasa pinakababa yung i-take note nyo, AD is equal to CB, pero ako, I prefer na A over B is equal to C over D mo siya isusulat. Kasi para mas madali mo siyang ma-differentiate sa indirect proportion. So makikita niyo mamaya. Okay, so nakafollow kung, kung bakit A over B is equal to C over D. If given you have A is to B is equal to C is to D na direct proportion, nakuha ba? Okay. How about indirect proportion? So pag indirect proportion naman, the product of the quantities of the first ratio is equal to the product of the quantities of the second ratio. So you have this. First, you multiply mo yung quantities nila, and then sa second, tapos dapat equal sila. So if you have A is, is to B, that's equal to C is to D, A times B is equal to C times D. So paano naman ito nangyari? When A varies indirectly with B, and C varies indirectly with D, tapos yung constant nila is equal. Okay? So take note guys, hindi porket nakakita kayo ng A is to B is equal to C is to D. Automatic na direct na siya ha. Um, sinasabi lang nito, yung proportion nilang dalawa is equal. Okay? Pero it doesn't mean na directly na siya agad or indirectly. Hindi mo pa alam. Okay? So here we have if A varies indirectly with B, ano equation mo? A is equal to K over B. Nakafollow pa dito. Kung saan, kung bakit, bakit meron kang indirectly? Anyone? Or medyo nakakalito? Anyone? Gets okay, nakafollow so. naman to. So A is equal to K over B from kanina to. Okay. Sige, Nathan, okay lang. Magtanong ka, um, ano exactly yung nakoconfuse ka? I-chat mo lang dyan, babalikan kita. Okay? So, kanina, meron tayong A varies directly with B. This time, since indirect proportion na tayo, A varies indirectly with B. Okay? So, A is equal to K over B. Itong A is equal to K over B, since may nagtatanong, ano daw to, galing ito sa lesson natin kanina about variation. Na kapag yung isang variable mo, in this case A, varies indirectly with another variable, in this case B, ang B mo nasa baba. Okay? Naalala ba ni Ethan? Or nalilito pa rin? And then i-isolate lang ulit natin yung K. Okay? If we isolate isolate K, we will get K is equal to AD. How about when C varies indirectly with D? So, pareho lang to guys, ha? iba lang yung variables natin. Okay? So, K will be equal to CD. Again, pag meron kang proportional or proportion, ang K mo should be equal or the same. So, again, equate natin ang K, we will have AB is equal to CD. Alright? Nakuha ba to? Ma'am, pareho lang naman po value ng A is equal to KB, pati AB is equal to K. Yes, pareho lang. What do you mean pareho lang? Um, nilipat ko lang yung B sa kabilang side. In-isolate ko lang yung K. Nakuha, Denise? Okay. So again, equate nyo yung K from the first ratio and K ng second ratio, you will get AB is equal to CD. Okay. So again, ito yung comparison kaya sabi ko, fina-fraction form ko yung direct. Kasi A is to B, kapag directly proportional siya sa C is to D, 
ganito yung magiging equation mo. A over B is equal to C over D. Kapag meron ka namang indirect or indirectly proportional, A is to B is indirectly proportional to C is to D, A times B is equal to C times D. Okay, nakuha ba yung difference nilang dalawa? Pwede ko mas magigets nyo kapag may examples. Sagot tayo ng examples. 